Hey guys, it is me, Amber, here with a plan with me and my classic happy planner. This is the one that I use for school stuff, and it is a horizontal layout. What month are we in? Oh my gosh, I haven't I haven't been using this just because um, I've only been planning in my other one. What is this one? What is this week? Last week of July. So we're planning for uh, July 27th, which is actually today, to Sunday, August 2nd. So, like I said, this is the one that I use for school. It is not my regular planner, just school stuff. I've only been using, um, I've been putting my school stuff in with my other planner. I'll show you what I mean. I haven't been filming those either. So like for an example, I ended up doing a dashboard. So all my school stuff is kind of like over here and then other stuff is spread throughout. So I've just been putting it all together, but I am hoping to finish one of my classes on Friday and throughout the week, I'm also going to be working on another two classes. So I feel like I really need a spot to effectively break down the tasks that I need to do as my phone goes off. I didn't realize it was um, not on silent. I never know if my phone's on vibrate or silent or um, has the ringtone on. I just never know. So I also wanted to try out this new horizontal layout one. This is, it's hard for me to tell focused this is. I think it's okay. I can't tell the way the light streaming in from the window is making it really hard for me to see on my laptop what it looks like. So if this is blurry and out of focus, sorry, but it's been months. Um, so I wanted to use this one and there are some cute florally ones in here. That's not the look I'm going for. Although I did think about this for Monday, but today's Monday and I haven't done a dang thing. Um, but I'll use that another time. But cute little florals. Like I said, not the look I'm going for this week. I want something fun, bright, catches my attention. I was looking at some of these because I do have a couple of appointments on Tuesday and Wednesday. Saturday I have a very low-key bachelorette party for my cousin and then Sunday I have a very low-key birthday party for my mother-in-law so I have a lot going on this week plus like I said I want to try and take that test by Friday so we'll see how it goes but I was thinking of maybe some of these this is just not focusing very well I don't want it on auto because then it tends to, that's just my arm, tends to auto focus the whole time. Let's see. We'll try it and I'll just have to keep an eye on what's going on over there. Hard to tell. Um, yeah, no, I don't like the autofocus. And you guys get to be here for that. But you're lucky. What a blessing. Okay. So I thought some of these would be good, as I've said 18 times now. Let me actually, I'm going to grab a couple paper clips and then that way I can kind of. Mark which pages I was thinking of because I'm not going to I'm gonna just flip through this book the whole time. No to those. Pretty, but not what I'm looking for. And these are cute, but I recently, it was a terrible one. I actually hated it. But it had these and rainbows, and it was just, it was god awful. So I'm not really ready for that yet. These are a possibility, but we'll see what else I come up with, and I'll just search through for those. 
because the ones that really caught my eye, oh my god, if I could find them, this is why we're using paper clips, were some of these. I know we've seen some of these similar in like the Bright's book and stuff, but I just, I think a lot of these are cute, like those. And then there were the stars and these, and I might cross this out or cover it. There's already cat hair all over the desk. Just because I want to, I still want to have it so that it's like, oh, my top priorities for this week. But that color doesn't really match. So originally, the one that I saw that made me kind of think of it was this Keep on Crushing Girl. But it's not going to cover the whole thing. So then I had thought maybe one of these. I don't know. We'll see. Or even one of these, although I hate the gold foil. But there wasn't a whole lot else in here that I thought would work. Although, I guess I could pull out the Brights book. I recently reorganized my stickers. And I don't have a dang clue where I put them. I used to know where they were and then I thought, you know what, let's organize these so that they make sense and I can see what I have and blah, 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 blah. And now I'm like, well, hell, where did they go? But I think that writes, that's Miss Maker. I kind of tried to keep some of them still in the same type of layout as they were before, but it's hard. Okay. Let's see if Brights has anything that I could use to cover that. Look me at the beginning. I really want to use this horizontal and then also me. Let's pull this other one out. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Skipped a page without meaning to. Anyway, so it has been a long time since I have filmed. Um, quarantine hit and it hit hard. I just, I'm going to use this get it girl down there. Um, I lost my job before um, everyone shut down basically um, and I was okay with that. I then found out that I had been exposed. I didn't show any symptoms um, and then you know before we found out that you could be asymptomatic I was around people so I was either asymptomatic and so was everyone else that I came in contact with, or I actually did not have it. I'm going with the latter there just because, you know, um, it makes a little bit more sense. Sorry, I was fixing something on the camera so you got to see my elbow. Um, so I have spent my summer at home. Um, Kaylin worked from home for a good chunk of it, which was really nice because one, I wasn't alone, and two, he wasn't being needlessly exposed to anything. Um, he is back at work now, though. He has been since the second week of July, since the 7th, so he's been back for almost three weeks now. Um, they're being cautious, but I still really preferred having him home, just because, one, it was safer, and two, it gave me some company. Um, yeah, so I've just been gardening, swimming, um, haven't really seen many friends. I've seen a couple. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I haven't because I have, but not that many. Oh, shoot. Um, and the ones that I have seen 
have been exercising caution and we've also been cautious about what we do, if that makes sense. Um, I've really only been grocery shopping except to buy plants from a local nursery, which was very weird for me, I'm not going to lie. And my mother-in-law and I went to Home Goods one day, and that was also very weird. Um, <laughs> it just, I didn't like it. It felt like I was committing a crime. I wore my mask the whole time, um, but not everyone did. And that was a little weird. I'm, I will wear a mask. That's just how I am. I'm not going to not wear it. If you don't want to wear it, that is fine. We're not here to debate it. Um, so yeah, I have just been hanging out at home. You would think that I might have accomplished some stuff while I was home, but no, I haven't done anything. This class that I'm trying to take the test by Friday, I have been doing since before this term started. I didn't finish it last term. I have just like no motivation. It's really bad. Um, and it's 100% all in my head. And I know that and I still can't seem to do anything about it, which is, I think, even scarier for me. But I'm hoping that this week will kind of get me out of that funk. I can get the stuff done that I need to get done and finish this class. I think once I finish it, then I will be, that's crooked, but I'm not pulling up. Um, I think once I finish it, I will be able to move on to other classes a little bit better. Hopefully that's kind of my goal, but who knows? I seem to do better. I'm doing healthcare management. I do better with the healthcare related courses because I was almost done with my nursing degree <laughs> when I switched majors and I've been working in healthcare, so that is just a knowledge base that I have. Um, and the other stuff, when I see it, I'm like, <laughs> what? But, you know, it's just, it's terrible. So I do hope that, I don't know, finishing it will kind of spur me in the right direction and I can finish the class and move on to the next two and... My term ends the last day of August, so I would really like to finish these up and get them done before that happens. Um, when, I, when I was let go, I was originally like, sweet, now I've got all this time to work on classes and stuff. And then it was just like a, a downward spiral because I had that, the, you know, the exposure, and then I had... Um, my birthday was during that time period, and it's my first birthday in my 35 years of life that I didn't get to see my family for it. I've always spent my birthday with my family. We're all very close, so I didn't get to see my family for my birthday, and then I didn't get to celebrate my sister's birthday, really, with her. I did see her, but from a distance. Um, and then we had our anniversary, and we didn't really get to celebrate that or do anything fun, and it was just bad. And then we did, the first time we saw my family that wasn't from a distance was my mom's birthday in May. So that was really nice. I mean, there was 10 of us and that was the limit. So, you know, did probably see too soon. But at that point, I also didn't care as much. Um... I know that sounds terrible, but at that point we were, I was just feeling really down. I felt like just everything was crashing down around me. And so when I, I probably should have waited to suggest it, but I didn't and I don't regret it. So, uh, <laughs> you know. It's whatever. But other than that, I've just been, like, we did our garden, um, which has been going like crazy. We, what else did we do? We took all of the classes that we needed to 
pursue adoption in the state of Indiana through the foster care system, basically. Um, we're just waiting on a home study now. And because it was a pandemic, they don't have anyone to come do the adoption home study. So after a lot of talking with my, um, well, our liaison for it, we decided that we would be willing to foster a child with the termination of parental rights pending because we do not want to get a child in the home and then lose them. At least right now. Um, we've been dealing with some fertility issues, so that's not, we're not at that place mentally where we would be okay with that just yet. Eventually we would both like to foster, um, and actually foster, but we would like to have children in the home first. Can I hear the dogs like fighting in the other room? Um, just so that we can kind of have our little dream of, you know, being parents. Um, and neither of us are ready to get attached to a child and then have them come and go and come and go just yet. So we would like to adopt first and then see if that's where the Lord is still leading us. Um, I don't see why he wouldn't be, but who knows? So that's kind of what we've been doing. Looking at these sideways to see if there's anything that I might want to use. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at right now with all of that. Just waiting, unfortunately, because <laughs> I'm ready for a kiddo to be in the house. So yeah, we do have, I was looking at some siblings. Um, I would have liked to have adopted siblings. The ones that I've seen that I thought, oh my gosh, they would be perfect for our family have been adopted, which is wonderful for them. Sucks for me. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been, I'm putting this crooked just because it kind of overlays with that. Not that I like it that way. I don't like it at all. Maybe I'll put something else there. Um, and then I will be going back to, or starting a new job, not going back to my old job, but I will be working starting August 10th. I had a couple job offers. One was for a place that I had interviewed for earlier in the year, and then they decided not to go with me because I was going to Germany at the time, which obviously I didn't go because COVID. Um, so I didn't get to go, which really sucked. And I let them know when I was looking like, hey, you know, I didn't end up going and blah, blah, blah. And they finally messaged me. I don't know why I was just like huffing and puffing there. Um, so they messaged me and asked if I would like to come in for an interview, a third one. I was like, yeah, I guess. So I went in and I met with them and the interview did go well. And then they called and they did offer me the position. But at the same time, a friend of mine had let me know that where she works was hiring and they paid more. They both offered me the job. And considering we are working towards financial independence and trying to adopt a child, it made more sense for me to go with the job that was offering more money. So I let them know, you know, thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. But at this time, I have to do what's best for my family and myself. And that's taking the job that is higher paying, yada, yada, yada. So I never heard back from her, which is fine. Um, I let my friend know she had also recommended me for that one and, you know, just said thank you. But right now this one pays significantly more and that's what I need to go with. And 
And she understood that, and, you know, there were no hard feelings or anything like that. But, of course, towards the end of summer is when I'm getting all the offers. So, whatever. That's fine with me because it meant that I got to enjoy my summer and, you know, have fun and not worry about any responsibilities, which was nice. Went down to my grandpa's a couple times. Um, he lives about two and a half to three hours away. He has a big in-ground pool, so we did that a couple times and, you know, just had a good weekend. And, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, tell you what I'm going to miss, though. That's my dogs. Uh, <laughs> I do not want to leave them at all. I am not looking forward to leaving them at all. I'm going to go in with a colored box down here, maybe. I don't know, though. No, I don't think I will, um, just because it does have the grids. I think if I add anything else, I'm not going to be happy, so I'm just going to leave it as it is here, because I do like it as it is now, so yeah, I'll leave it. I'll just have to take this little, take this little guy out. <laughs> Oh, it's at appointment. Son of a biscuit. See, I should have read. Oh, well. I'll use those for a different day. But I like that I kind of kept this simple, but I have, you know, the appointments. I have the special things going on. And then all the stuff to plan. I, this is kind of a cool one. I wish they had more just for horizontal because I prefer the horizontal for school. Although I do think if they had blank sections on the dashboard layout, I would really like that for school too. I think that's a nice layout because you can kind of break things down a little easier, but they don't. So that is it. This is the final look for my classic happy planner horizontal spread that I used for school for the last week of July and the beginning of August. I can't believe it. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on. I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time. I'm hoping to get back in the groove of things and actually film more, bring you guys some more content. Um, I've been using my planner a ton, even though I haven't been really leaving the house just because it's helped me really break down all the tasks that I want to accomplish while at home. So yeah, thank you so much. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye.